there. My name is Janet Fagan. I am a teaching artist with the Fry Art Museum's Creative Aging Program. Welcome to my home studio. Today we are going to explore a project together that is a great way to spend time with a friend. This is a fantastic um, team art making project. So we'll talk about that more as we get into the nuts and bolts of the project. But we are in general going to explore portraiture using paper, materials that we probably have on hand at home that we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Um, and it's gonna be a special type of portrait a portrait about someone that we really care about, someone that we love. So I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment, but first let's kick things off by taking a look together at a portrait from the Fry Art Museum's permanent collection. The painting that you see here was created in 1889 by a German artist named Fritz von Uda. What do you notice first about this portrait? What stands out to you? What do you imagine that the artist's relationship is with the person that he's painting? And finally, what clues is the artist giving you about who this person is? What can you tell about her? Well, I'm happy to share with you that the uh, connection between the painter and the person in this portrait is a very intimate one. The um, painter is the father of the girl in the picture. Her name is Anna. This painting was created when she was maybe eight or nine years old. So there's a strong bond here that, that comes through in the image. And what do you think this father is sharing with us about his daughter? What kind of clues is Von Uda giving us about this person that he loves? All right, let's look at some examples now. I have a paper portrait here that I've been working on about my dear friend James. And I've given you some clues about who he is, what I love about him and what makes him who he is. James loves to ride his bike outside and he loves airplanes. Those are probably the two most important things in his life, riding his bike and flying in airplanes. So I've shown him here on a bicycle that I cut out of paper. He's hunched over the handlebars, riding fast, underneath the sky with an airplane overhead. But you know, we care about lots of different people, but we also care about animals and our pets. So if you want to make a portrait about an animal that's important to you, I think you should go for it. And I have done that. So I'm going to show you a second example. This is a portrait that I created of my cat, Dune. So you'll, you'll notice that this is actually a file folder and we're going to talk about materials in just a second, but you may have file folders at home that you can work on. And I lucked out and found a red one. Um, Dune is a gold cat. So I've torn paper to kind of just suggest his shape. And I wanted to emphasize one of the things that I love the most about Dune is the pattern in his fur. And he's a, he's an orange tabby. So that's what I chose to highlight. And I'm not done yet, I'm still working on this. So I'm gonna introduce the materials and then I'm gonna come back to this with you and give you some suggestions about how to get started. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side. So I mentioned file folders as a background to work on, but you could also use um, copy paper. If you have just eight and a half by 11 coffee, white copy paper, that works great. Um, or even uh, grocery bags. So this is all about you know what we can find at home. I'm working out of my home studio now, so I've kind of scoured the cupboards and the drawers and paper bags make a great working surface. So I just cut the center out of this one and used the inside like so. Um, other things that come in handy are magazine pictures. 
So I take old magazines that I'm done reading and I just kind of pull out the pages that are appealing to me for whatever reason. Um, greeting cards, I put aside greeting cards uh, that I might be able to use in art projects. I've cut a few more uh, paper bag shapes out here. Um, even like little gift bags. This was a gift bag that I just thought the pattern on it was cool. So I put that aside. So you get the idea, just anything, anything really goes, any papers that are around your household that um, you might be thinking of recycling, you might be able to recycle into an art project. What else do we need? Um, scissors come in handy. You do not have to cut shapes. You can tear all of your shapes, but if you want to cut a pair of scissors, it might be good to have on hand. Um, any sort of mark making materials, pencils. I have a few colored pencils here, regular pencil. Um, I found a couple of Sharpies and even a, even a highlighter um, in, my off, oops, in my office supplies. I thought this might be kind of fun to include. And then also you want, you want some sort of way to glue everything down. So I happen to have a glue stick and these work kind of like a chapstick. You just pop the top off and then if you're not familiar with them, they, they roll up from the bottom like a chapstick and then you apply them where you want to use them. But if you don't have a glue stick, you can use white glue like Elmer's, for example, a liquid glue. Um, even if you have a workshop carpenter's glue, yellow glue, that's, that's all fine too. So pretty flexible with the materials you can use for this. Um, so I'm gonna go back to, back to this portrait that I'm working on of Dune. So if I were gonna, if I were gonna continue on this, um, I think this is one example of a great way to work with a partner because you'll notice that I've used a lot of torn paper shapes here and I want to continue in that theme, but I also you know, want to continue to cut, just kind of think about what I want to include in this portrait. So while I'm thinking about the things that I really love about Dune and maybe making a, a little mental list of um, what else I want to do next, I might ask my partner to take a few minutes and continue tearing some shapes for me. So going back to my my stash of, of papers, I have this, this random um, piece of orange construction paper, and I might ask my partner to tear a little bird shape out of this, because I know Dune loves birds. So it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just all about getting the idea, and most importantly, just the feeling that you are paying attention to the qualities or the, the, the ideas that make the person or the animal that you care about who they are and including those in your portrait. So I just tore a, a little bird shape and then my partner might glue this down for me. And that's a, that's a really fun way to work together. Somebody can brainstorm, make requests, and somebody can actually do the, the gluing and the tearing, and you can trade places, you can take turns. So it's always fun to, to be an art assistant for somebody else or to be the art director. Both of those roles are very rewarding. I think now I might wanna include um, maybe, some, maybe some marker. Maybe I want to think about well, what's next What's next for Dune? Maybe I want to put him somewhere. So maybe I'm gonna put a horizon line in that kind of shows the earth behind him. And maybe I'm gonna make a pattern out of this. Maybe I'll just make some stripes that go down the page, kind of into stripes right now. Um, just playing, just having fun with it. So step by step, you can just build this with whatever materials you have on hand, colored pencils, markers, collage. The main thing is to just spend time with your art making buddy, thinking about someone or a pet that you love. Maybe you wanna do portraits of each other, or maybe you wanna think about someone you both know that is special in your life and dream up those qualities that you wanna include in your portrait and then have fun building that together. Whichever way that you approach this, just enjoy the time reflecting and being creative.